Hey, what is up guys? What's up, what's up? Here at home. Making it in the background. Uh, today, I went to the gym, which is a, one of my favorite gyms in the world. Uh, it's down there in Sacramento. And I got a workout in with Megan, Brandon, and Steve. <laughs> the two of them who happened to be um, kind of leaving the area really soon. Uh, Steve actually went to go to Arizona for a little bit. Uh, Brandon is moving to Texas pretty soon, I believe. So we had a little workout to just kind of, uh, I guess, say goodbye to everyone. Didn't do a whole lot of filming, but did a little bit of filming of my arm workout. So here that is. Try to keep your shoulder joint completely in its place and not move anywhere. Or not. I don't know how to do that. It's okay. Okay, guys, gonna do some voicing over. This is uh, one of the last times working out with Brandon here at this gym for quite a while at least. He's moving down to uh, Texas. Uh, I'm not sure if I was supposed to make that public or not <laughs> or what, but. Yeah, he's moving down to Texas pretty soon with Andrea, so I'm going to miss these guys. Um, as I mentioned just a second ago to Megan, you'll notice at the beginning of the set she was letting that shoulder uh, joint, that shoulder ball and socket basically go all over the place. You'll notice a big difference between the way I do it here and the way she does it, or just did it in that set that she, she just did, is that uh, you notice my shoulder stays in place the entire time, exactly just where it is. And that would be one of the main things for this exercise is if you're doing it, you decide to do this right here, make sure that uh, your shoulder to your body, um, your shoulder isn't constantly going up and down and up and down and up and down. It's basically staying in place so that you can try your best to just use the triceps and push this bad boy. Thing is, you're never going to be able to isolate your triceps. You're not going to be able to isolate anything on this. You can't isolate your chest. You can't isolate your shoulders. This is a really compound movement guys so you'll simply just try your best to feel for working the triceps and at the same time minimizing any sort of shoulder discomfort so you try to maximize the two for example for some people on this you might really feel it good in your triceps if you do it a certain way but you might find that that really hurts your shoulders either acutely like right in the moment or in the long run so with every single exercise you have to weigh cost and benefit uh, so sometimes you have to maybe do it in such a way that you feel like 90% in terms of it's hitting the, the muscle that you want it to hit. But if that makes you last longer in terms of months and years of working out or months and years away from surgeries, then that's the way you want to go. So you're trying to always combine the best way of doing something in terms of uh, hitting the muscles you're trying to hit if you're training for muscles specifically and um, comfort security and overall health so you're constantly just wanting to do what's best for yourself in the long run and I know that's a random topic but hey guys that's my tip for the day uh, these are machine plate loaded tricep um, tricep dips uh, you'll notice that in a lot of gyms that uh, you're actually facing the other direction. For example, the gym that I've been going to lately, I face the other direction on this and uh, then the, the thigh pads are facing the other way. So it's, uh, it's a different kind of animal when you're facing one way or the other uh, based on how the machine is. Yeah, to be honest, I like this one a little bit better than the one where you're facing the plates. Um, I really like the way this one feels. I like them both, but I, I like the way this one feels. And um, there's, it's also much easier and more comfortable to get into place. So that was the first thing we did. Nice big compound movement. Trying our best to hit the triceps on that. I like to usually alternate between uh, a day where I'll do um, push downs or uh, tricep dips like you just saw. And doing close grip bench press as the uh, first movement of the day so next time i have a quote-unquote arms day i will start off with close grip bench press so this is a seal row specifically on a seal row um bench 
which has an uh, opening for your, your face so you can breathe really nicely. Uh, I really like this exercise. Um, something that I'm going to share with you guys here in terms of tips is that basically don't, uh, don't do it the way she's doing it right here, which is she's basically pulling just her wrists to the area of the back that she wants to hit. Whereas you need to also pull the, the forearm to where you want it to go. So it's, it's basically a straight line from the elbow, forearm, wrist, hand. That's pulled to where you're trying to really target things. And of course, if the elbows are tucked more, you're hitting more of the lats. Um, if your elbows are flare a little bit more, you'll be hitting more of the upper back, upper and middle back. So that's just something to keep in mind and always uh, try to keep that wrist straight along with the forearms. Um, this is something you want to do and I think you'll really like it better if you do that. One reason uh, I like doing seal rows is because it's a chest supported uh, back movement and uh, it gives me a little bit more energy, it gives me a little bit uh, more recovery in terms of my lower back for my deadlifts and my squats. So uh, if I was doing tons of heavy standing barbell, bent over barbell rows, uh, I wouldn't be able to progress on my um, squats and deadlifts, or sumo specifically for me as much as I may want to. Um, so it, that's just another like little plus and minus. So. With all of lifting, there are so many factors involved. There's so many pluses, minuses, things to balance. It's like a budget, and there's so many different areas for you to put money in, and you only have a uh, limited budget or a certain amount of money to allocate to all these different areas and places. And I think it's fun. I think it's really awesome that it's not so straightforward, and that's a little complicated. Uh, I think it's cool because that uh, it almost like it creates a, uh, a barrier to entry, so to speak, but a uh, different topic there. Uh, next thing I did was, was barbell curls right here. Um, is Maxie okay? My dog, I, I think he almost threw, I think he, did he throw up? He's coughing, okay, he's good. He's good, guys. Um, I didn't do too much or too many exercises this day because we actually had to get going and drop Steve off to the airport. Steve is uh, a roommate and friend of mine and I think he's moving back to Arizona which is kinda sad because um, I just started liking the guy just kidding and um, <laughs> just kidding I hate him and uh, it's gonna it's gonna be uh, I'm, I'm gonna miss him don't tell him that uh, next thing I did tricep uh, push downs for a split second my uh, <laughs> my long head tricep re looked really cool I just wish Megan stayed there for longer and showed you guys it but uh, lessons for next time um, these push downs I was doing the I was doing maxed out weight here it's pretty funny because back when I was a kid I don't think I ever thought that I would uh, be doing like the entire stack at most of the gyms I go to now um, I used to see people do the whole stack and I was just thinking oh my gosh like that is a lot of weight but now it's like I do the stack and some so it's pretty cool that the uh, that the tides have changed and I'm now in the position of uh, the freak in the gym that I used to look at and be like oh my gosh I I'll, that is crazy so everything's relative man things change um, here's Megan doing some push downs I think she looks gorgeous here she was like don't put that in there oh, what what she just hit me I think she looks great there um, apparently she whatever you know girls a girl girl could be looking hella bomb and then they'll be like no I look horrible and then you're looking at them just like are you serious but that's that's just that's just girls you know whatever and now she's apologizing don't worry it's okay I thought she looked really good here too um, these are <laughs> I love this gym because the, all the dumbbells are heavier than what they say because yeah none of the dumbbells take into account the bar like that's a 10 pound plate with a 10 pound plate with a X pound block uh, bar. So, um, guys, yeah, this is Steve. This is Steve Cleva. Uh, for a while, we had him doing um, 
co he was a, a coach for Legends of Aesthetics. Uh, he does coaching on his own too. Uh, really, really good for powerlifting, but of course, uh, bodybuilding as well. I think if you just Google Steve Cleva images, uh, Google images Steve Cleva, you could see some of his uh, some of his stuff. As a natural, he he's won an uh, he's won the overall open at an untested NPC show. Um, that wasn't a beta show; it was actually a decent show. Um, so I, I, that definitely says something that. You know, he's won a natural. He's at naturally. He's won a um, you know NPC overall. He's got he's got some s crazy V taper on him. It's it's really insane. So if you want to check more on him, uh, Slovation. I'll, I'll put some links in the description. It's funny because this is him training extremely minimally um, over the past uh, eight months. Uh, reason for that is just s random health issues in terms of like his hip. And his shoulder, which sucks for him because he's 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 been more of a power lifter these past handful of years, and that's what he loves to do. Like he doesn't really care so much about pump work and whatnot, so he hasn't even been able to do the things he loves, like squats, deadlifts, and bench press that much, uh, because he has recurring random issues and stuff. So, um, yeah, he's basically broken. Oh, his cake. All right, hold on. You know, it's funny. It's like when someone rides their bike a lot, you don't think, "Oh, he's obsessed with bike riding." Yeah, but if he's riding like six days a week, like four hours a day, you'd be like, "Whoa!" Okay, four hours. Well, hold on. The average person would be like, "Oh, that dude's obsessed." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is there's like so you could probably hold on. Restate your question, Steve. Restate your question for the viewers. What was the question? Uh, did you really already forget? No, like what I asked him. Like, yeah. Okay, so if you could no, this maintain. Is good all muscle mass that you have and your strength but never have to set foot in the gym again and if you and all you have to do is worry about your eating so if you eat in a caloric deficit you'll get leaner maintain muscle size yeah or muscle mass yeah and if you eat more you'll just gain body fat well, would i, would I want to keep training but yeah but you you would then uh have all that extra you'd open up all that extra time that you spend focusing on training yeah. being there in the gym wait hold on like you could essentially like go learn to play the guitar what if also like your caloric intake didn't matter i usually eat whatever well that's just too easy would that would that even that would even like, simplify it anymore yeah if you just eat whatever the fuck you want at that point it's like all right i'll, I'll do that <laughs> it's like, yeah okay it's funny because if I automatically like didn't pre preface this with like I love training, but everyone would be like, "Oh, he's got no love for bodybuilding." Well, I think he's got no love. honestly, I think it would like go over into other parts of your life due to the lack I, of the discipline because you wouldn't really it keep, this keeps you disciplined. Oh yeah, yeah, well I might just become disciplined in a different area. Yeah, like to replace the discipline that I have here. True. Like I might become really dedicated at I don't know. Doing or helping, checkers, like helping, checkers. <laughs> or helping some like children or something like that. You know, you would never do that. Shit. <laughs> 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 no, like, what would you if you if you had to just say give up lifting as a hobby? Yeah. What's a hobby that could replace it? Or yeah, what? that you would use that time. If you could stay the same size, with yeah. the same strength. Well, that's right? already established. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I'd probably put more time into like. Um, First, obviously, like business and helping other people get fit. But like a Since hobby, I don't have hobby, to spend any time like a hobby for your personal, like an activity, so like an activity or like scrapbooking. Oh, like okay, collecting stamps, uh, croquet, croquet, <laughs> personal hobbies. Yeah, I'd probably get into um, like plyometrics type stuff in terms of like activity, physical activities. No, it can't be anything really. Close. It can't be anything physical. No. <laughs> wow. Well, it could be. Semi physical. Oh, but nothing like involving barbells or bars or yeah. like body weight and stuff like that. Something is not intentionally exercised, you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so like if I said bowling, you'd be okay. Yeah. Um what kind of other things would be really uh like you can learn to play fucking the you can be a disc jockey or some shit. That'll be sick. Oh that's it. Oh. That'd be kinda cool. 
Okay. What would you do, Steve? It would be like the biggest jack, like the most jacked disc jockey. It would be cool to get like two skateboarding. <laughs> Dude. Really? Except now it like hurts ten times harder when you fall with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you weigh so much more. You like snap boards. Can I just like time. get into yoga a little bit? Like a lot? A bit? Yeah. But that's more of, you do that for fun? Like you'd enjoy that? I, I think it It seems like you know, there'd be more of something you do to, for the benefits of it as far as your personal... What do you want me to say? Like, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> the new chess prodigy, yes. Matthew Ogus. You want me to say like World of Warcraft mean? champion of the world? Yeah. We have we have to be going for this. Yeah, let's. Uh, no, 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 no. All right, so leave your comment below. <laughs> what would you do if you could maintain your body mass like, if already, if you have a lot? You know, it's funny. Like, I already know hell of people are gonna act hell of tough and serious. No, no let's still lift. Like, this is a I'd complete. Let's still lift. Yeah. Gonna, like. Like, we're trying to get beyond that. Like, we know we would all still live. Yeah. <laughs> like, plus it's like essentially just a bullshit conversation. Yeah, it's a, There's gonna be people yeah. like just hating on each other. Yeah. And I can't believe Because you, you, you best stop lifting? Like, you'd also have to accept the fact that no matter how much you lifted, you're not gonna gain any more muscle, you're not gonna gain any more strength. Yeah. You're still gonna be the same. Essentially, this is a pointless conversation. Hold on, essentially, this is like real life, you know, once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is, this <laughs> like, happen. once you hit, like. It sounds awfully a few like years. natural body. Yeah. <laughs> like, what I've been doing for the last, like. Yeah, basically, years. after 10 years, you're just maintaining. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. like, good luck. Basically. Because the amount you're gaining is so. Yeah, that's where I've been. School. That's where we've all been for like two years now. Well, I can probably get my newbie gains back once I actually. Yeah. That's true. Uh, I, I highly doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta scrap that part. <laughs>